Speaking of police, Chicago police officers had until Sunday to comply with the Lightfoot administration's vaccine mandate for city workers or get pulled off the payroll. This after a labor arbitrator sided with the mayor. But as of now, over 2,500 police officers have not gotten vaccinated or reported their status, according to city data. That's about 20% of the police department compared to about 95% of all other city workers. In a letter to Mayor Lightfoot, 12 Chicago Alder people are calling for her to rescind the mandate and are demanding a special city council meeting tomorrow. The mayor is calling the letter, quote, fear mongering and says a mass firing of non-compliant officers will not happen. Well, certainly we're gonna hold people accountable and police officers have to abide by the same uh, uh, standards for employment as every other city employee. But this notion that somehow we're gonna terminate masses of, of police officers that were going to compromise public safety. Recall, they rattled that saber last fall, and they were wrong then, and they're wrong now. And Lightfoot also says she would not be attending the special meeting tomorrow, calling it, quote, a political charade. And joining us now with more are 28th Ward Alderman Jason Irvin, who represents parts of the West Side, and 15th Ward Alderman Ray Lopez, who represents parts of the South Side. Welcome both of you back to Chicago tonight. Alderman Lopez, you're one of the 12, signing this letter arguing for a natural immunity option for police officers. Explain your position. You know, as our knowledge of COVID and the pandemic has evolved, so too should our policies. And that needs to incorporate natural immunity, which is when an, an individual contracts COVID and builds up their own antibodies in, in their system, then that should be an option that our employees are able to report through the portal. And unfortunately, the administration has refused to evolve their knowledge and uh, application of policies to match the times that we're in. And we want that option available for those employees. We believe that those employees that have yet to go to the portal would do so if that third option of proving that they have natural immunity was available to them. Alderman Jason Irvin, you take the other side of this. You say the police officers are holding the city hostage. What do you mean? I think that the members of the Chicago Police Department need to comply with the orders that the rest of the city employees have complied with, which is to report their status and to get vaccinated. Uh, we should not have the anticipation for citizens uh, coming for police service or police officers coming to their homes and put them in greater harm than when they were not there. So I believe that part of what the uh, mayor administration is asking for, which is something that we've asked healthcare professionals to do, other people that are in settings where they have high contact with the public, which is to be vaccinated. Alderman Lopez, the immunology test uh, or the antibody test can be expensive. It can be time consuming. Do you believe if police officers want to go this route, they should pay for it out of pocket? I believe if that is something that they're interested in, then their insurance should be able to cover it. If that is an option that is recognized by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention as legitimate, then we should not be standing in the way. We cannot continue to cherry pick the science simply to fit the narrative. And that's exactly what this administration continues to do. We are simply asking that it evolve its standards and policies to keep pace with the current scientific data that is out there and not continue to rely on information from a year and a half ago, which is woefully out of date, and not to mention completely arbitrary as stated by the Commissioner of Human Resources that said these dates and deadlines have no scientific bearing. They are strictly picked by the mayor herself to force the issue with our employees. Alderman Irvin, the deadline for the first shot has come and gone. The mayor said there's not going to be a mass firing, even though about 20% of police officers still have not reported their vaccine status. So how will this play out to avoid some kind of mass layoffs? Well, I think that uh, part of the challenge has been uh, there has not been any true enforcement uh, of the policy at a, at a mass level. I do believe that um, this is not about uh, vaccination. This is not about science. This is about who's going to run the Chicago Police Department. Are the officers going to run the department or will management run the department? Um, the department uh, has a leader in David Brown that is under the control of the executive branch of government. And I think this is more about a power play. Even tomorrow's conversation in a special meeting is about sending a resolution to a committee again, more hijinks and political standing uh, without really trying to get to the root or even try to solve the challenge that uh, Alderman Lopez and his colleagues have put on the table. To have a resolution to be sent to a committee 
to call for a special meeting about this. This is more uh, political grandstanding and hijinks because it's not going to solve the problem of the officers that may be impacted, nor is it going to move the needle any further on this particular matter other than put an item in the committee seven days earlier than when we would uh, for our next meeting coming up next week. Alderman Lopez, what about that? I mean, the meeting's going to happen tomorrow. The mayor said she's not going, and the most that can come out of it is a resolution, but nothing that would bind the city to anything. So what's the point? Not Paris, even a resolution. Paris, the, this is the one time that I think uh, this week, Alderman Irvin and I are in complete agreement that this is not about science. It's not about the vaccine. It's about control. And the one pulling the hijinks is the mayor. There have been numerous ordinances, orders, and resolutions introduced throughout the last two years trying to protect our employees, trying to protect our families, their families, as we work through the ever-evolving science of the pandemic. And the one who's put the hijinks, as the, my colleague says, and is playing games, is the mayor by putting bricks on all of the chairmen to which all of these ordinances, resolutions, and orders have been assigned. We talk about officers, we talk about our first responders, we talk about our employees as being essential, yet this council has done absolutely nothing to address their needs, their concerns, and their fears. And I'm sorry if that inconveniences some people on the city council that we have to take this up when the mayor's off to Florida, but we should be meeting religiously to ensure that all of the best policies and practices are in place that are fair, equitable, and incorporate the full scope of science and not just the ones that fit the mayor's control narrative. Alderman Irvin, you know, the city did drop the vax mandate, the indoor vax mandate and mask mandate. Why not then drop the vax mandate for city employees? I think that the vaccination, again, we, we are members of the public. There are public employees that are coming to serve the public and people that are being serviced by us as city government should not walk into a situation where there's the potential fear that they may be um, uh, exposed to something that very well could easily have been controlled with the vaccine. So I think it's incumbent upon us as government not to put our residents at risk by having people that are servicing them carrying uh, a potentially deadly disease to their doorsteps. And on the other side of that, Alderman Lopez, nearly half of Chicago police officers have gotten COVID, six have died. Isn't it protecting their safety to have them get the vaccine? Absolutely, all of this should be about protecting the safety of not just the, our police officers, but our firemen, other first responders, and all of those, uh, those employees that we've asked to continue to work without fail every day since the pandemic started. Not everyone has had the luxury of getting a vaccine and working from home or working via Zoom. Some people had to show up and had to meet the public. And while we know that officers have died from COVID, this council has refused to address the fact that they should be receiving a death benefit for going to work, doing the essential work that we asked them to and le left their families with little recompense after their passing. We play a lot of lip service to their safety, but do very little to ensure it. All right, I, I know these debates will be going on tomorrow at that special meeting and we will follow that. But for now, our thanks to Alderman Jason Irvin and Alderman Ray Lopez. Thank you.